Porcupines aren't supposed to live in Kansas, but they do. I currently encounter one while filming in Barber County, and I've seen a dozen others here and there along the Oklahoma line during the past few decades. These large, slow rodents with their famous quills pretty much live with no worries. Whatever threatens them is faced with serious and long-lasting consequences. Sharp, barbed needles that penetrate and work their way deeply into flesh and organs. Injury from porcupine quills may lead to death. Porcupines climb trees and eat succulent greens and grains, sometimes on the ground, sometimes high in branches. During winter, they may eat bark for its nutritious green inner cambium. Porcupine poop is full of sawdust and bark fibers. This porcupine likes mulberry bark, and it's often found in this tree. Porcupines live a long time, often more than 20 years. Porcupines can't throw their quills, but they puff them out, chatter their teeth, and emit an odor to warn anything that gets too close. Then, if necessary, they lunge into an attacker. Even a few quills in the nose provide a hard lesson for a curious or hungry aggressor, as this raccoon finds out the hard way. Porcupines. They're another fascinating part of wild Kansas. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.